Hello, welcome to Spread Book Joy. Today I'm going to do the How Do You Booktube tag. If you're new to the channel, I'm Jack. I'm a qualified primary school teacher who shares great books for kids for home or school, but I also join in community booktube things and talk about my own reading. And today I'm going to do the How Do You Booktube tag. I first spotted it this week on Gunpowder Fiction and Plots channel, which I'll link their How Do You Booktube video below. But it's an original tag and it was started up by, and let me get their names right, Margaret Pinard and Bethan Bruninga Sokola. And they're both the, they did a collaborative book tag and I'll link their video in the description box below as well. Before I get into the tag, there's a few things I wanna talk about and that is, First of all, how I got into watching BookTube because that's not on the tag and I think it's it's led me down this Warren hole and this rabbit hole and this experience I never would have had. And secondly, about some of my favourite BookTubers and people that I've made friends with, or at least I hope I've made friends with on this community who I just love watching. So I'm going to give some shout outs. Now, I'm terrified of forgetting to shout out someone and um, so I'm going to list absolutely everybody in the description box below and if I haven't given you a shout out it's not because I don't think about your channel or I don't like it it's because I've got a terrible memory um, you know really bad anyway so I started watching booktube about a year and a half ago and I was in a really stressed time in my life and I couldn't really concentrate on um, proper tv and chat like real I couldn't concentrate on a program like you know intense programs or anything like that and I googled, I was reading, trying to get back into reading, and I googled how to read faster, and a video came up and it was Murphy Napier, who is a giant booktuber, and she had a video about how to read fast, um, how to speed read, basically. And then that just sent me on a rabbit hole of her stuff, and I watched tons of her stuff, because she's great. She's, you know, she's, she's, you can see why she's huge. She's got a great personality, she's got wonderful opinions, she's, you know, she's built for this basically. And then I, from that I learned, you know, I met, I, I discovered Daniel Green, who's brilliant. And I, you know, these people, I'm in awe of these people. They go on to booktube and they just give absolutely the most in-depth, thoughtful reviews of things. And anyway, I was in awe of them. Then I started discovering smaller booktubers and the first smaller one I discovered, and she still wasn't that small, I think she had 3,000 subscribers at that point, I think she's up to about eight or nine now, was Claudia from Spencer's Library. And I love her. She's the first booktuber I ever really interacted with. So I would comment on her stuff and we would, we would have really good discussions. And she did a series about how she does booktube, how she films her videos and everything else. So I started watching those and I thought, I want to start one of those one day, but one day I'm not ready yet. And she was very encouraging and uh, that was back in like March or April and during the first lockdown last year, but I didn't get the courage to start my channel till about September. Um, I reserved the name, I did all these all other sort of things, but I didn't put myself out there until later in the year. So since I've been on this here, I really need to give a shout out to some of the people who are the first ones to comment on my videos. And one of them is Julie from The Hungry Bookworm, and she is a wonderful supporter and friend. So she's on Instagram as well. Um, she discovered me on Instagram actually. And she then she discovered I had a booktube channel. So she was like, oh, wonderful. So she watched that and I watched hers. And she's always watches my videos she comments she's recently done a shout out video for me where she's introducing like meet the booktuber videos for people who've got under 500 subscribers so she's done that for me and i'll link it in the description box below um another person i want to shout out is pay vo and his channel pay attention well it's called attention uh the channel and his channel is i'm in awe of his channel like how he hasn't got thousands and thousands of subscribers is beyond me i'm sure he will one day very soon um but he's intelligent and funny and he always watches my videos and comments and he's always very kind and supportive and i absolutely love his literary criticism videos i'm learning a lot from him very smart guy do yourself a favor and watch his videos his tags are hilarious and david's book reviews he's such a kind person he goes and follows all or watches all booktube newbie videos and comments and welcomes people to the community he's really kind he's a fellow londoner if you're watching david hi david um, and we've got oh, Ariel from Books and Whatnot. Is it Books and Whatnot? I'm sure that's her channel name. Hopefully I've got it right. She's hilarious and she reads a lot of the same things that I like to read. So I love watching her channel. And, and Ariel, I did start 
reading that graphic novel, and I've forgotten the name because I've got a terrible memory um, that you reviewed recently and I'm loving it. Steve from Steve Talks About Books and Stuff, he is very welcoming member of the community and he also does introduce like meet the booktuber videos and through him I've you know learned about the caffeinated bookworm and a few other channels. I'm gonna link them all in the description box below so do check them out. They're all really lovely welcoming people and I just yeah I've discovered I got onto booktube to put out videos intending you know to support parents and teachers with finding great books for kids but what I've discovered is this amazing community and people that I love watching and I feel like I'm catching up with friends when I watch them and yeah um, and I'm terrible at keeping up with videos and sometimes I binge watch so you might see I've watched about four or five of your videos <laughs> in a go <laughs> and you'll see comments from me but you know trying to fit it in around all the other stuff I do but um, yeah so let's get on to the tag if I've forgotten you oh by the way I do want to give a shout out to someone very new who is Sandy Ms. reads a lot go and check her out she's doing the she's set herself a task of reading the you know the thousand and one books thousand and one books to read before you die films to watch before you die she's doing that as her challenge so do go and check her out and support her she's really friendly and she's really positive and yeah right on to the tag so question one I'm going to be looking down at my screen every now and again, so excuse me for that. Um, if you haven't already explained in another tag or you wish to expound upon it, what made you start a booktube channel? Um, I have explained it. I did a booktube newbie video, and but my, book, my channel has evolved a bit, so I will talk a bit more about it. The channel originally started because back in the first lockdown, um, well, just after the first lockdown, um, I was contemplating leaving my job. And I did leave my job because I'm a teacher and my partner was shielding and clinically vulnerable. So I needed a bit of a creative outlet and I love booktube. So I decided that I would start up a booktube channel if I got the nerve to do it. But I also did a master's in education and one of the things that I found when I was doing my research into reading was that teachers and parents don't often know the books to choose. And I'm a firm believer that the there isn't a children um, there isn't a child that hates reading there's just a child that hasn't found the right book and my te throughout my teaching career I've dedicated myself to pursuing and finding the right books to get children into reading and get them to love reading and so spread book joy it's a kind of mission statement I want to spread the joy of reading and the joy of books and my absolute mission was if I started this channel that I would recommend a book that if I just got one book that became the book that got a child reading for life that would be my mission done so if I can just do that for one person that's my mission but it's evolved somewhat so as I've been posting weekly for six months maybe since September and I've just there's other things I want to talk about besides children's books I will still continue to post children's books and talk about my reading there because that's the mission but booktube has become more of I love l watching people and chatting to people on booktube the smaller booktubers I love the community I've made some really tentative friendships on here I hope and I want to talk about my own personal reading a bit more and when I started I announced in April a bit of a channel change where I'll be doing a bit more about my own reading and switching up to two videos a week so that I can still post about children's content and then still post about my own stuff I think it was met with quite a um, positive reaction from the very few people who watch my channel so yeah that's why I started my booktube channel and I have to say I love it because you just get to talk about books all day which is wonderful Question two, how do you decide to subscribe and how many channels you subscribe to? I'm gonna to have to check this one. So just one minute. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna have my laptop here so I can refer to things because a lot of these questions are basically about my YouTube habits. So anyway, it says, how many channels do you subscribe to? I currently subscribe to 71 channels. How do I decide to subscribe? Well, I'll watch one video and if I like it, I'll subscribe. I'll have a little look at people's video playlists as well to see what kind of videos they produce. But I like um, when I when a person's personality grabs me, when they make me laugh, um, when they make really good points, when they're talking about books that I want to learn about. Now I've got a really wide and varied reading taste, and I know a lot of people niche are niche 
sort of book readers and they'll write you know they're particularly into fantasy or particularly into horror or whatever I read everything so I've got loads of people that I follow and I love classics so I like the classic booktubers and things like that um, and I tend to like following smaller booktubers because that's where you get interaction and yeah that's how I choose to subscribe so I will subscribe to bigger booktubers but not all the time because they crop up on your um, like suggested feed anyway you know the page where it like suggests things to you so they crop up there all the time and they don't need any help <laughs> really so yeah I do subscribe to some bigger booktubers because I've always subscribed to those they're the first people I ever watched so it was Murphy Napier and Daniel Green because I'm a fantasy fan and um, yeah 71 doesn't sound like that many because Gunpowder Fiction and Plot had 300 but 71 sounds like a huge amount they're not all booktube channels though so do you unsubscribe from inactive channels if so how do you decide to unsubscribe um i haven't unsubscribed from inactive channels because you know your subscriptions feed each week with new videos popping up they they don't appear so they're not jamming or clogging me up and maybe they'll come back in which case i'll miss them if they come back so i don't really unsubscribe i'm not really subscribed to that many I've got a personal YouTube account that I started out with, which wasn't Spread Book Joy, and I'm subscribed to far more on that, but I'm rarely on that these days. I'm always on my Spread Book Joy account. When and where do you watch BookTube? I watch it everywhere. Um, I've been really lucky because my partner got a YouTube premium subscription, which means that you can download videos and listen to them like podcasts when you're out and about. Um, and BookTube is quite good for that, isn't it? Because it's a lot of talk. Although some people have hilarious gifts and, and things in their videos which you miss. Um, Ariel from Reading and Whatnot does it and David um, from David's Book Reviews and Steve talks about books and stuff. Recently they, they pop things on the screen so if you're just listening to me do miss them so I do like to watch when I can, like actually watch. But I will watch in the morning or I'll watch when I'm cooking. I lot watch when I'm cooking a lot or when I'm cleaning. Um, I watch in the bath because <laughs> I know um yeah uh, i watch in the bath because i've got like i know bath caddy things um i'll uh, yeah i'll watch anywhere and everywhere because there's always so much booktube to catch up on um so wherever i can really how do you respond to comments do you always respond do you respond right away or set a schedule do you comment on every video you watch this is an interesting one because obviously i don't get that many comments so i do respond to every comment and I'm sure I will for quite a long time because I don't see my channel growing exponentially at any particular point. But I do respond to all comments. I to, tend to respond straight away because I get notifications and why not? If I've got time, I'll respond straight away so I don't forget. Um, but in terms of setting a schedule, I don't think I need to because I don't get that many comments. Um, do I comment on every video I watch? Pretty much. I always comment on smaller booktubers videos because comments are good for people and I like to know I like them to know that I've watched and enjoyed their content um, it's always nice so if you're watching this and you was, you've never left a comment please leave comments it's nice to do that <laughs> and it's nice to hear from people who watch um, and yeah but sometimes I don't comment on the bigger booktubers because if I don't have time they don't need my comment um, and I don't feel like I have anything to say. Sometimes I respond to people's comments on the booktubers things. If someone makes a really good point on a bigger booktubers thing, I'll respond to that. Um, so that's always fun to get into those kinds of chats. Do you keep, this is a good one for me, do you keep up with content as it comes out or do you catch up on older content? How do you filter through old content if so? Right, so this is my biggest issue with booktube and if anyone's got any ideas, please let me know. The one, ironic thing about being in the booktube community or uh, bookstagram which is where i've kind of got my bigger following um and where i'm kind of more daily active is it takes away time for reading so you know you fill up spare time with watching booktube videos and with um you know instagram and stuff like that and that takes away time for reading which you're supposed to be posting about so it's kind of an ironic thing i i I love to keep up with people's videos, but I'm finding it really hard. I listen at double speed, that's one thing I do. I do that a lot, um, unless someone's got a really fast speaking voice or a really strong accent, in which case I don't, but I tend to listen at double speed or at least more than normal speed. Um, and I 
will try to watch, I've said to myself, try and watch at least a video a day or two videos a day, try and fit them in, shorter videos. Longer videos, I'll relax and enjoy them at the weekends. But sometimes I end up binge watching because I've got so far behind one of my favorite channels that I'll end up watching their last three or four videos in a, go in a row. If anyone's got any better ways of keeping up with it, I always ring the subscriber bell as well for people I want to keep on top of. Um, does that make sense? <laughs> Right, let's rephrase that. I always ring the subscriber bell for people I don't want to miss. But if you've got any tips on how you keep up with booktube watching, put them in the comments below for me. Oh, in terms of old videos, I do go back and watch people's old videos. I'll just filter through and see any that catch my eye and I'll, I'll watch those, especially if it's a new to me booktube channel. Question seven, do you use a homepage feed to decide what to watch or do you work, your, work down your list of channel subscriptions or some other method? Mostly it's my subscriptions. Um, I try to keep up with my subscriptions. Like I said, I have so much trouble keeping up with the subscriptions I do have that I find it really hard to watch new content. But I really do want to watch new content because how else do you do support new booktube channels and new, like subscribe to new people and find out new things? So I don't often go onto the discover page or explore page, whatever they call it. Um, but if I want to watch new booktubers, I will just look at the new booktube newbie tag um, hashtag. Well, I'm not going to tag anyone this time because no one tagged me. But if you are seeing this and you'd like to join in, please do. If you're someone I watch regularly, hopefully I'll be able to keep up with your content and watch the video if you do do it. And if you like this video, please click like and subscribe. I will do other tags and uh, other content going forward. I've got some really... oh. If you like bookshop visits, my video last week was a really lovely bookshop visit to one of my favourite bookshops in London, really big one, Waterstones in Gower Street. I'll put a link up there for you if you're interested in that. But hopefully I'll see you again here soon. Bye!